We're talking about a poisonous plant called a giant hog. Last night, Scott Johnson showed us one of the deadliest trees in the world. We are taking a closer look, though, at poisonous plants. And I came home and took a second look in my neighbor's yard and also my yard, and I thought that's the same thing. Despite their alluring appearances, plants can be surprisingly dangerous. They can trap rats, eat birds, and do stuff you won't even expect. What's even more terrifying is that they could be anywhere. So hang on to watch the top 20 most carnivorous plants you should avoid at any cost. Doll's Eyes Looking like tiny eyeballs, this plant reminds of the bulging eyes of Chucky. It gives a strange vibe with its black dotted eyeball-like berries and red stems. Present in forests from Canada to Georgia, the whole plant is poisonous, especially the berries. Eating it can make you dizzy due to the toxins it contains. Another similar plant is red baneberry, but you can tell them apart by their stems. Native Americans used red baneberry juice for gargling and arrow poison, making these plants interesting and a bit risky to touch. Cape Sundew. Drosera capensis, aka Cape Sundew, is a small plant from South Africa that's like a mini predator in the plant world. It has these long and bright strap-like leaves covered in shiny tentacles that ooze out a sticky goo called mucilage. Bugs, like bees and fruit flies, get tricked by this goo, and once they're stuck, the sundew does a neat folding move to keep them trapped. It's like the plant giving the bug a big plant hug. The sundew even grows pretty pale violet flowers on its tall stems in the summers, and is super easy to grow as it makes a ton of seeds. This plant surely knows how to expand its domain. So if you ever spot a Cape Sundew, remember that it's not just a cool plant, it's a bug-catching, hug-giving superstar. Strangler Fig. Strangler fig, which grows around the world from Australia to Africa to South Florida, is a tropical plant that has a unique feature of wrapping itself around other trees. And it doesn't just hang out, it grows on them, sometimes hugging them to their doom. These figs start as tiny seeds left on a high tree branch by clever animals like monkeys and birds. As they grow, their long roots reach down, creating a web around the host tree. It's like a tree takeover. In the end, the host might not survive, but the strangler fig becomes a superstar with a massive cylinder of roots that looks like a tree trunk. Once they have overpowered the host, they create homes for animals and provide food when times are tough. Buddhist Udumbara. This flower is a real survivor. Even if you squish it, it bounces back. The next plant that we have on the list is like a floral celebrity, claiming to bloom just once every 3,000 years. But why does this flower love playing hide and seek? I mean, who'd even remember it after so long? Well, the Buddhists believe that the last time it did bloom was before the birth of Buddha in 1997. It showed up at a South Korean temple and made it to the Chinese news, which usually doesn't talk about that kind of stuff. They first said it was a big deal, but then they changed their story, calling it a lacewing insect's egg. The weird thing is, lacewing eggs don't last long, but Udambara flowers are like the superheroes of the flower world. They stick around for a while. It's a mystery that is still to be discovered. Castor plant. The next is a plant that is a blessing in disguise for real. Meet the castor oil plant, a giant reaching up to 40 feet high. It is known for its oil-rich beans that are both a treasure and a hazard. Grown for pharmaceutical and industrial wonders, these plants hold a dark secret. Their seeds contain ricin, one of the world's most toxic substances. The castor bean toxin works like a little troublemaker for the human body, stopping cells from producing protein. So these tiny beans pack a big punch. Corpse flower. The largest and stinkiest flowering plant in the world, the corpse flower from Indonesia is definitely a plant you don't want to see up close. And I'm telling you that for all the right reasons. Also known as the Amorphophallus titanum, or Titan Arum, this giant only throws its not-so-good fragrant party once every seven to nine years, and it lasts just a day or two. It uses its own special perfume to catch dung beetles, flesh flies, and other bug buddies. The perfume is like a mix of cooked onions, Limburger cheese, garlic, rotting fish, and stinky socks. It's a corpse smell. Just imagine that. Ugh. 
But for these carnivorous insects, that's like an invitation to a fancy feast. It's not just the smell. This flower also holds the record for the most flowers in one go. Unfortunately, it's now endangered, with less than 1,000 left in the wild. Rat-eating pitcher plant. Think of a jungle adventure where plants instead of animals do the hunting. Yup, meet Nepenthes adenbarogi, the biggest meat-eating plant ever found on Mount Victoria in the Philippines. It's a tricky one, luring rats with sweet promises, only to trap them in its pitcher. Hey, what are you doing inside, huh? They dig their heads into it and get stuck on its waxy surface. Once stuck, the plant uses acid-like substances to break down the rat while it's still alive. It's like a secret plant feast in the jungle, named after the famous nature expert Sir David Attenborough. McPherson mentioned that they picked the name of the species to show how thankful they are to Attenborough. He has been making nature documentaries for over 50 years. Boy, nature sure has some wild surprises. Okay, come in. Come in. Dancing plant. The dancing plant can certainly dance to your favorite songs. Also known as Dudley or Kodario calyx motorius, it is from Southeast Asia. This plant grabbed the attention in a plant chemistry class and even fascinated Charles Darwin. Beyond its medicinal uses for treating inflammatory issues, this plant is a standout because it moves, responding to light, touch, and most interestingly of all, sound. When exposed to sound, the leaves move rapidly, lasting only a few minutes. The movement is thought to help the plant get the best sunlight exposure. Scientists are still figuring out why it grooves to sound, though. Pelican Flower The pelican flower is a special plant with a big name, Aristolochia grandiflora. It's the largest in a family of around 120 plants found worldwide and ranks as the second largest flower globally, just after the Rafflesia arnoldi. Unlike most flowers that rely on bees, the pelican flower has a unique trick. It gives off a smell like rotting meat to attract flies for pollination. These flies are then trapped down by trichomes and are released once the stamen matures. They assist in reproduction by carrying its pollen to other pelican flowers. So it's not just big and beautiful, but it's got a clever way of making more of itself too. Trigger plant. Just as the name says, this plant might trigger you. <laughs> the trigger plant, mostly found in Western Australia, shows off pretty pink flowers on tall stalks during spring and summer. One popular type, the narrow-leafed trigger plant, grows in various Australian areas. It gets its name from a special way it pollinates. When bugs check out the flower, a quick club-shaped column pops up, hitting different bug body parts depending on the trigger plant type. This smart process avoids self-pollination. You can make the flower react by gently tickling its inside, setting off the explosive response. With about 70% of trigger plant species evolving in Western Australia, it's a fascinating place for these cool plants to change and adapt. Bladder warts. Bladderworts are cool carnivorous plants found all around the world, about 220 different types. They don't have roots and use a floating stem with tiny bladders to catch and eat little bugs like insect larvae. These plants have underwater traps for catching food with their flowers that are like secret weapons, with two sepals, five fused petals, and two stamens. In places where there's not much food, they turn into meat eaters to get the nutrients they need. How do they manage to catch bugs without moving? Well, these plants might even have special friends helping them out. How cool is that? Hydnora africana. Coming next is a fascinating plant from Southern Africa that lives underground and doesn't need leaves or sunlight. Hydnora africana is a bit like a plant detective attaching itself to the roots of other plants to get its nutrients. Every now and then, it surprises us by sending up a special smelling flower. This flower is like a tricky trap for beetles. It literally smells like feces. Ugh. When a beetle enters, the flower makes sure it stays inside long enough to carry pollen around. The cooler part is that even when the beetle munches on the flower, Hydnora africana is prepared. It produces extra pollen and cells to still make seeds. So, it's an underground plant with a secret plan. Sea Poison Tree. 
The sea poison tree is a nature's artist, with beautiful leaves that change colors and dazzling flowers that come to life at night. Its leaves are like puffballs of white and pink, calling moths and bats to a fragrant feast. The lantern-shaped fruits that grow are sea travelers, just like coconut, but you definitely don't want to have them. They might be your last fruit. Sea poison tree has a special poison called saponin that stuns fish, making them easy to catch. The fish stay edible, and the poison doesn't harm their tasty meat. Water Hemlock be careful where you step, as confusing these plants with friendly plants can be a grave mistake. Found in North America, the common water hemlock, also known as cowbane or musquash root, stands about 2.5 meters tall with cool white flowers. Water hemlock is a sneaky plant family that loves marshy areas. Watch out though, they look a lot like harmless plants such as wild carrots, but pack a punch! Its umbrella-shaped flowers secrete sicutoxin, a quick-acting troublemaker that messes with the nervous system. The roots are the worst culprits, holding the most toxicity. Rosary Pea Beans may be tiny, but watch out! They might carry a powerful punch! Jequirity beans from the pea family that are found in tropical regions are dangerously poisonous. Surprisingly, their hard red and black seeds are molded into necklaces and rosaries for decor purposes. In India, these seeds even have a traditional use as a unit of weight called rati. However, it's crucial to note that despite their decorative and cultural demand, these seeds contain the toxin abrin. Just one chewed seed can be tragic for an adult human, and it also doesn't have a cure. It's nature's way of saying, don't be fooled by appearances. Stinging Brush Enter the stinging nettle, a weedy wonder found almost everywhere, ready to surprise passers-by. Standing tall at two meters, it's armed with heart-shaped leaves and small fruit. Keeping its fierce defense aside, this plant is a surprising hero. Its leaves are edible, and it has a history in herbal medicine. Not only this, it plays a role in making textiles. It's a plant with hidden depths, ready to surprise those who underestimate it. White Snake Root now, we know that not all appealing plants are friendly to eat. Some are a beauty with a danger inside. White snake root in North America, also called Ageratina altissima, stands at about five feet with clusters of bunch-like white flowers. While it may look charming, it's better to appreciate this plant from a safe distance, as it's very toxic. Keep an eye out for its poison. It has a toxic alcohol called trematol. While humans might not be directly affected, cows that munch on it can get seriously sick, facing muscle issues, weakness, and even death. And if people drink the milk from these cows, they can also fall prey to something called milk sickness, with symptoms just as nasty. Nepenthes. Nepenthes, the fascinating pitcher plants that trick insects into a lethal trap with sweet nectar. With around 140 species found in places like Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and Australia, these plants are the largest species of plant that are able to eat meat. Thriving in acidic soil, some even grow without touching the ground. What sets them apart is their carnivorous side. With modified pitcher-shaped leaves, they attract insects with nectar, and once the unsuspecting prey slips in, it becomes a nutrient-rich meal for the plant. It's nature's way of survival in tough spots. Trumpet Pitcher Eye-catching colors can for sure grab your attention. Well, it's a technique for these trumpet pitchers to catch their prey. They are the buddies of the famous Venus flytraps, and they have unique pitcher-shaped leaves that make them special hunters. They come from South and North America and like to live in places with not many nutrients. These clever plants catch insects by using colorful leaves that have nectar. Insects fall into the pitcher because of the leaf shape, and then the plant digests them into a nutritious liquid. Besides being great hunters, these plants surprise us with flowers that look like upside-down umbrellas, attracting pollinators without catching them. Cobra Lily the cobra plant, a standout in the New World pitcher plant family, calls swampy mountain areas in California and Oregon its home. It doesn't just resemble cobras, it is equally dangerous. It catches insects with its distinct pitcher leaves and a pitfall trap. With purple-red attachment, 
a tongue similar to a snake. The plant traps insects, and with its slippery and translucent walls, it baffles them. Unlike other carnivorous plants, the cobra plant leans on bacteria, not its digestive enzymes, to break down its prey. It's a rare plant envisaged by only lucky enough individuals. Water wheel. Found in ponds across Africa, Australia, Europe, and Asia, these underwater wonders catch tiny creatures below the water using quick trapping mechanisms attached to its stem. Their traps, looking like teeny see-through fly traps, skillfully catch prey underwater with small bristles and hook-like teeth. Unlike their land relatives, water wheels don't need to lure insects. They've got it all figured out underwater. The traps slam shut rapidly, capturing insects or small fish within milliseconds when they approach. After capturing and digesting the prey, the plant absorbs the nutrients. Philcoxia minensis. In Brazil, there's a cool plant called Philcoxia minensis. And guess what? It hides sticky leaves underground. And they're not just chilling there. These sneaky leaves are actually carnivorous. They trap and eat worms. Even though it's a bit weird for leaves to be underground, this plant found a smart way to survive. It's like the plant has its own secret hunting strategy, making it a fascinating part of nature in sunny Brazil. Moccasin Plant the moccasin plant, Cephalotus, a carnivorous marvel found in the wilds of Southwest Australia. It's like a tricky hunter, using sweet-smelling nectar to attract insects into its pitcher-shaped traps. Once inside, the prey gets dissolved by special enzymes. The moccasin plant is linked to flowering plants. Its leafless stalk has one to two pink flowers, making it the largest orchid in rocky woods. Trifiophyllum. The incredible Trifiophyllum peltatum is a unique plant hailing from tropical Western Africa. With a three-stage life journey, it starts as a rosette with lanceolate leaves, then turns into an insect-catching marvel, and finally matures into a massive liana, reaching up to 165 feet. In the Plant World Surprise Party, Trifiophyllum peltatum took everyone by storm in 1979, revealing its carnivorous nature and claiming the title of one of the world's largest confirmed carnivorous plants. They have vibrant, wind-friendly, umbrella-shaped seeds, measuring three inches. You can catch rare glimpses of this botanical wonder in gardens like Abidjan, Bonn, Cambridge University, and Würzburg. Heliamphora. The Heliamphora is a carnivorous plant from Brazil and Venezuela, also known as the sun or marsh pitcher. It thrives in not-so-nutrient-rich soil by catching insects. Its tiny buds at the top invite bugs with sweet nectar, causing them to slip into pitchers filled with digestive fluid. Keeping this smart plant happy is easy. Keep its soil moist but not waterlogged, choose spacious pots with airy, nutrient-free soil, and let it enjoy stable conditions with lots of direct sunlight. It's like having a special buddy with its unique survival tricks in the world of carnivorous plants. Roridula. Roridula plants from South Africa are cool, but a bit tricky. They grow tall with pink flowers and sticky leaves that catch bugs. Unlike others, it has sticky leaves but doesn't do the digestion job alone. It partners with Pemeridia bugs. Bugs digest, plants absorb. That's the teamwork in nature. Plant them from seeds in the fall. Give them sun and some water, but not too much. Fresh air is a must, so no containers. Also, watch out for fungi, and if they're missing their bug friends, you might need to feed them. Now, let's dive into our subscribers' pick of the day. This fantastic image was shared by one of our subscribers. If you ever want more information about an image you stumble upon, feel free to send it our way. The piranha plant is a famous character from Nintendo's Mario games. Its leafy green stalks and sharp-toothed mouth pops out of pipes to challenge players. It has evolved over the years with a new name, Venus Fire Trap. This plant tricks insects with its red-lined leaves and tiny hairs. When bugs touch the hairs twice in a short time, the leaves quickly close, snapping them shut. The plant then squashes and seals the bug in its not-so-stomach, where enzymes play their role and the breaking down of food occurs. The poor insect is mangled even more when it tries to escape, and the trap reopens after 10 days. I hope you enjoyed! See you again!